Breaking news coming in. A Dutch MP and far-right leader, Gert Wilders, has expressed his support to suspended BJP spokesperson Nepur Sharma. In fact, he's been tweeting about this also for a while. Wilders called on Indians to support Nupur Sharma and said, and I quote, never give in to Islamic terrorists like Al-Qaeda. They represent barbarism. Unquote. Wilders now claims threat to his life for backing Nupur Sharma. In fact, India Today's Geeta Mohan spoke to Dutch MP Gate Wilders exclusively. He maintains that Nupur Sharma said nothing wrong. He has also questioned India's diplomatic stance over the controversy. One of the biggest controversies today is to do with the remarks made by uh, Bharatiya Janata Party spokespersons with regards to Prophet Muhammad, which has uh, invited a lot of trouble for India in many ways than one from the Islamic world. Uh, but there is one uh, lawmaker who has come out in support of Nupur Sharma. I'm talking about Dutch MP Geert Wilders, uh, who's come out and said that she should not be apologetic. In fact, nor should India. Mr. Wilder. Thank you so much for joining us here in India today. Uh, why do you say what you say? Why have you come out in support of Nupur Sharma? And then you'll talk about the ramifications you've faced because of your statement. Yes. Well, first, um, it's a pleasure uh, to be on your show uh, today. And indeed, um, um, I support uh, Nupur Sharma because I believe that nobody should be punished or apologize for speaking the truth. We might like it, we might dislike it, but she spoke the truth about Mohammed. And it's so unfair for people who speak the truth, maybe on, a, on such an issue, that um, 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 her party, um, um, and Muslims uh, threaten her with her life, and especially um, Islamic countries um, threaten India, you know, also with boycotts and to ask for uh, excuses uh, to be made. And I believe that's, that's really ridiculous. We should never give in to such a threat, especially where most, if not all, of the Islamic uh, countries are the biggest hypocrites on earth. You know, look at their track record when it comes to human rights. They have the worst track record of human rights, whether it's about freedom or women or, or journalists like yourself or uh, Jews or Christians or Hindus. And they get the worst treatment in, the, in, that, in, the, in their own country. So they are hypocrites. Uh, they should not criticize India or any other, other democracy, India is a democracy unlike most of the Islamic countries, they should be criticized. They should not criticize us, we should criticize them. Right, uh, but the issue over here, again, Mr. Wilders, is a little sensitive one. It's not about who's speaking truth or not. It is also about the manner in which one speaks. Now, demeaning language against any, uh, any religion uh, should not be accepted in, in, in uh, public platforms, especially when one holds a very responsible position, don't you think? Oh, you know, um, um, one can uh, have a different taste, uh, whether it was uh, sophisticated or not. And, and everybody is free, every viewer is free to decide it themselves. But listen, freedom is at stake. Um, the Netherlands, my own country, I'm the leader of the biggest opposition party in Holland, but also India, we are both democracies. And democracies means that we have a rule of law, that we have freedom, that we have courts who can decide if we overstepped the mark and not um, uh, mobs who threaten to kill somebody, not um, other countries who try to interfere in the sovereignty of the state of India. You are, unlike them, a democracy. And you can like once again or dislike what she says, but she has the right to speak out. And we should not, because once again, we will lose everything. We will lose our freedom of speech. We will look our dignity. And we have values uh, under which freedom of speech is maybe one of the most important ones. And I don't think, no, that uh, people who are sensible, or countries that are sensible, or have once again, the worst track record of human rights themselves, should tell us, order us what to do and demand excuses and if we speak the truth, that is not how a democracy works. If they disagree with her, they can take her to court in India and the judge will decide. That is how a democracy works, not by threats, by threats to die right. or, or anything else. You speak about democracy. We'll talk about that a little more. But before that, let me talk. Uh, let me ask you about what you yourself have faced. Now, after your statements and your tweets, uh, you yourself have uh, received a death threat, is that correct? What will really happen? Yes. 
No, I did in the last few days since I um, supported uh, Mrs. Uh, Nupo Sharma. I got many death threats uh, from uh, Muslims. Uh, then again, you know, um, 17 years ago, um, I got uh, already fatwas uh, for making a movie, Fitna, about the Quran uh, from, from Al-Qaeda, from the Pakistani Taliban. And I left my house 17 years ago and haven't been home since, you know. I, I lived with my wife in army barracks and prison cells just to be safe. I know what I'm talking about. I know what Mrs. Sharma um, will probably have to face. She will probably lose her freedom and her life will never be the same again. So I, I really, if somebody is happening, such a, things that are happening to her today, which is so unjust, I have to stand up and uh, support her because she did nothing wrong. And uh, I know for 70 years, I lost my personal freedom. I can only move 